In the intimate environs of the American Theater in Hampton, the December 18th program, Christmas with the Romeros and Concerto Malaga, was like having 19 great musicians unmiked jamming in your living room. It was quite a cast, beginning with the four members of the legendary Romero family. Its patriarch, Celedonio Romero, founded the guitar quartet with his son Celine, Pepe, and Angel in 1960, when no one had heard of such a thing outside flamenco circles. More than 50 years later, their masterful tradition continues with Pepe and Celine and the third generation, Angel's son Lito and Celine's son Celino. I have to refer to them by their first names for obvious reasons. First up were conductor Massimo Paris and the 14 instrumentalists of Concerto Malaga, violins, violas, cello, a double bass, and a harpsichordist. They began with the familiar strains of Leyenda Asturias by Isaac Albaniz, transcribed by Paris for String Ensemble. Its moods range from Moorix song to dance-like rhythms to chorale harmonies which Paris conducted with subtly economical gestures. Andante Religioso by Catalan composer Enrique Moreira had long, measured, walking lines. The bass and cellos gave a solid underpinning. Paris brought out the ensemble's dramatic dynamics. Then the four Romeros came on stage with the string ensemble to play Handel's For Unto Us a Child is Born from the Messiah. To hear so familiar a vocal work as an instrumental was a revelation. In Schubert's Ave Maria, the melody was deep and clear with the arpeggiation light and delicately precise. The sustained strings added power. Paris is not only a conductor but a composer. His Christmas suite for four guitars and strings was dedicated to the Romeros. Its dance rhythms were graceful, lively, and spirited, quite and thoughtful, and finished with a brilliant saltarello that was almost like an Irish jig. In the second half, the Romeros were alone on stage, bookending a set of Christmas songs with the stirring Allegro from Vivaldi's Concerto in D Major and the Grave Assai and Fandango from Boccherini's Quintetto No. 4. In the Vivaldi, they played as one, although not in unison. Each brought something different to the overall sound. The Christmas songs included Joy to the World, which I will never try to play on guitar again, not after hearing them, Carol of the Bells and Away in a Manger. El Noi de la Mare, Mary's son, had unusual, lovely harmonies, while Vince Guaraldi's wistful Christmas Time is Here, think Charlie Brown, had interesting modulations. Pepe Romero turned his guitar into a snare drum for a little drummer boy, again with unusual harmonies. Lovely, peaceful variations on Silent Night brought out Celino's dark, rich guitar. O Tenenbaum was almost zither-like in places, with inventive counter-melodies moving into the cheerful We Wish You a Merry Christmas. The Boccherini, Grave, Assai, and Frandango began simply, seriously, then turned brightly complex. In the mind's eye, one could see the dancers. Each of the Romeros got a crack at the fancy bits. It was fast, fiery, and fluid. Concerto Malaga rejoined the Romeros for the Guno Ave Maria, with the strings doing the arpeggiation while the guitars did unison, swapping back and forth, sweeping up to full strength. The guitars and ensemble finished with the Hallelujah Chorus from the Messiah. You wouldn't think guitars could do it justice, but these were the Romeros. Magic. Early in the program, a woman called out, Malagueña! Pepe responded, Poquito más tarde, a little later. After pronouncing Massimo Paris an honorary Malagueño, the hometown of Celedonio, Pepe said, Ahora, sí, now! And the Romeros launched into their trademark arrangement of Malagueña from memory. Oh, my. Pepe did a whole riff with nothing but hammer-ons, no right hand at all. Then Lito did the same, but differently, and so it went, each one with dazzling pyrotechnical ease. Best Christmas present I could ask for. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge. <laughs>